Hey, it's Sean Tice with Absent Parent Journey Day 3. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Cue the intro music. Actually, there isn't any. But, I wish there was. Anyways, today we are covering our third day. There's a big bird behind me. Quiet bird. I'm trying to cover this video. Um, but today we are covering our third day, which is don't be a statistic. Don't be a statistic. You're like, Pastor Sean, what are you talking about? A statistic. Yeah, statistics. They're stacked against you. There's statistics out there about you and me. Guys and girls, they're growing up without a dad, without a mom, without both their parents. And these statistics say, most of the time, that we're going to fail. That you and I are going to fail. These birds are loud behind me. Quiet bird. They're loud. But anyways, I'm trying to focus right now. <laughs> hey! Shh. Wow. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you try to make videos outside in Florida. But anyways, at least the weather's cool today. But today we're talking about don't be a statistic. You don't have to be a statistic. I was blessed to not become a statistic, and by God's grace, I won't become a statistic. Maybe you're thinking, well, what are you talking about, a statistic? Well, let me share some of these statistics with you that are stacked against us, okay? First one, 90% of homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes. 90% of homeless and runaway children come from fatherless homes. Let me read another one for you. 71% of high school dropouts come from fatherless homes. 71% of high school dropouts come from fatherless homes. That's kids drop out of school. They come from fatherless homes, okay? 71% of them. The next one, 85% of youths in prison grew up in fatherless homes. 85% of the youth in prison right now grew up in fatherless homes. And actually, these statistics are a little old, so there's probably a lot more added to this. Because honestly, these things are getting worse. They're not getting any better. And that's why I'm making these videos. To help you not become one of these statistics. These are just three of many statistics that are stacked against you. I didn't want to read all of them to you. Some of them are kind of dev devastating. But, if you Google it, if you want to find out more, go ahead. But what I want to show you in this video is that you, I'm talking to you. You right there. The one right there. I'm pointing at you. You do not have to become a statistic. Let me, let me show you. You. You don't have to become a statistic. I don't have to become a statistic. You don't have to be. You don't have to be run away. You don't have to be uh, dropping out of school. You don't have to end up in prison. You don't have to follow all the statistics like everybody else has. Just because you're growing up without a mom, just because you're growing up without a dad, just because you're growing up without both your parents, you live in foster care, you live in an orphanage, you live with an uncle, an aunt, a grandparent, whatever it is, just because you're growing up like that, you don't have to fail. You're like, man, Pastor John, you're getting passionate. Yes, because you don't have to fail. I had people tell me that I didn't have to fail, and I want to tell you the same thing. You don't have to fail. You don't have to become a statistic. You can be successful. God wants you to be successful. God didn't want your parents to walk away. God didn't wish harm on you. Maybe you're thinking, well, my parents died. God has a plan for you. Let me read these verses to you. I have two verses that I want to share with you today. We're almost done. Two verses. Romans 8, 17. It says, and if children, then heirs of God, I'm sorry, then, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. We're going to suffer in this world. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you're not going to suffer. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean that, that, that suffering is, you're exempt from it. It's going to happen. You're suffering right now. You're thinking, you know, I am suffering. I don't have my parents in my life. You're suffering. I'm sorry. My heart breaks for you. I don't want you to go through this. But someday, if you're a Christian, if you've accepted Christ as your Savior, if you've been saved before, someday you will be glorified together. It says in this verse, we'll be glorified together. We have the hope of heaven in this earth. 
We have hope of heaven in this life on this earth. So when things get hard, things get uh, sad, we have hope of heaven. If you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, if you've never accepted Jesus as your Savior, go on our website and search that out, teenverb.com. You can be saved today. Search it. How to be saved, salvation. You'll find out how to be saved today. Second verse I want to share with you. Romans 8, 28. We're both in Romans 8. It says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them, I'm sorry, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. All things work together for good if you love God. Do you love God? Do you really? God loves you. And He's going to work all these things out for you. I'm telling you, the only way to overcome this thing is through God. The only way to not become a statistic like so many people have in the past. You think about some people in your circle of influence. There's people in your life that you can think about that grew up without a mom and dad. And look where they're at now. The statistics are true. But you don't have to become one of them. You don't have to fall into these things. There's all kinds of statistics out there about fatherless kids, motherless kids. You don't have to become one of those statistics. You don't have to become one of those statistics. And, and I want to help you. I want to encourage you. God wants to encourage you. God wants to help you. God loves you. Don't become a statistic. It's something you have to decide. Say to yourself, I'm not going to be a statistic. Say it with me right now. I'm not going to be a statistic. Say it with me. Come on. I'm not going to be a statistic. Say it again. Come on. I'm not going to be a statistic. Who wants to be a statistic? Who wants to fail? I know you don't want to fail. Neither do I. That's why I'm doing these videos. I want to encourage you. This is Absent Parent Journey Day 3. This is Sean Tice. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Log into our website. Actually, go to our website, teenverb.com, and, and get on our website and, and subscribe to our website so that you can continue to, to be, have access to these videos and stuff, okay? Absent Parent Journey. We want to encourage you as you grow up without that dad, without that mom, without both. We want to help you. Have a great day. Until next time, day four is coming soon. Have a great day. Thanks.